<laughs> all right man this last year and a half has been crazy been crazy cool lots of cool stuff has happened um one of the biggest things for me was this uh fender connection i've had some friends asking me oh are you sponsored by fender now what's up with that um i'm not like a legit endorsed fender artist i guess um but something pretty cool happened uh in the beginning of june i was playing at ponte winery out in temecula and i'm probably like 40 minutes into my first set and this guy comes up to me I'm, I'm in between songs and he's admiring my setup man i like your setup you know i had all my fender stuff i was playing a, a mexican strap um i had my fender p bass i had my fender hot rod deluxe and he's like yeah man i uh, i actually work for fender so does my partner here i don't really play guitar but but he shreds and you know we're looking forward to hearing you play so i'm like cool and then i'm also kind of like damn you know if that guy shreds he's, these guys are gonna hear every wrong note i'm playing so the pressure was kind of on but i was just thinking i'm just gonna keep playing until these guys until they take off they sat down like kind of right to the left of me i was probably gonna take a break in like the next 10 minutes but i'm just thinking all right well, i'm just gonna keep playing until these guys leave well they ended up staying the whole three hour set i was playing from five to eight so yeah they i played for three hours straight um, they had some kids with them that they would send over with like tip money. They tipped me like three different times. Hey, this is from the guys from Fender. You're doing really good. <laughs> and um, I was like, okay, cool. They're vibing. So that's cool. So then, uh, yeah, when I was done playing, I walked over just to say thank you to them and nice to meet you. And, and they're like, man, you sound so good. Send us your address. Go to the Fender website. Pick out what guitar you want. We're going to, we want to bless you with a new fender american ultra strat you need an american strat is what they're saying and um i was like i couldn't believe that that was just like so cool to hear that from some guys that work for fender i mean i remember being a kid i had a, a squire strat and i and i always wanted like one day if i could have an actual fender you know um where it says fender on the headstock and uh yeah so to, to have that happen it turned out this dude was the, the senior vp of marketing for fender so it was like it couldn't have been a better person <laughs> to just coincidentally be at this winery and um the guy who was with him who played guitar is a dude named johnny shout out johnny rad rad dude um he's like a producer freelance production dude uh does a lot of like product demo videos for fender and um used to be a guitar tech back in the day so that's so that was the next part of the story is that I, I waited, the gig was on a Friday, so I waited until Monday to send that text and say thank you and all that stuff because um, I didn't want to seem too eager. But anyways, I sent them the, the text on Monday, hey, great to meet you guys. You know, I found the guitar that I'd like. Um, I found the whatever, the, this is the model and sent them the uh, the link. And so that was on Monday and I'm thinking, you know, maybe this guitar will get here in a month or a few months or something like that. They expedited it. So I sent them the text on Monday. The guitar was at my place on Wednesday um, with a big old expedited sticker on there. Brand new strap. I open it up and um, it, it needed to be set up. So I called Johnny and said, hey man, like, dude, the Strat came. It actually wasn't the color that I picked out, but honestly, I couldn't have cared less what color it was. I was just stoked to have a new guitar sent to me from Fender. It was just amazing. So, um, you know, I told him, hey, I, I couldn't really get the whammy bar in and I kind of kind of needed to set up. And he goes, oh man, I used to, you know, be a guitar tech um, back in the day. Just bring it up to my place if you're free. I don't know, it was just like a couple days from from that day I got it it might have been even the next day yeah drive it up here and I'll set it up for you so I go up there and it turns out that he used to set up guitars for like Joe Walsh and Blues Traveler and all these people back in the day and just a super rad dude really cool guitar collection at his house really inspiring stuff yeah so oh and then they they put me you know on like an email thread with uh Fender's like actual artist relations director a dude named Billy you know I got to say thank you to Billy and and he, he was stoked and then sent me like these artist discount codes so i ended up buying myself a tone master and a new pedal board a new power supply and got some fender pedals all, all artist pricing and um yeah man like some of the nicest guys ever like i i just couldn't believe it i felt like uh it's like the equivalent of being playing at some nightclub and having like a record label discover you or something and um 
yeah that it was just so cool because it gave me like such a like a new boost you know i've been you know for some of you guys who've been following me i've been doing these gigs for years i mean i've literally played thousands of gigs in my life at, up to this point and um you know you get to a certain point i mean that was actually at a time when you know i was kind of tripping out more than usual about my ears ringing and just the future of my life and what i'm doing and um it's just crazy it seems like anytime things start to get a little rocky with music and i'm not sure if like this is the path or if i need to like start thinking about other ways to um i don't know find my path in life something crazy like this happens and it's just like so affirming and um inspiring you know so yeah that's my fender connection the, the fender story Woo.